Hi everyone, SoCal Jeep Gladiator again, doing my second short video on this fine sunny Sunday afternoon. I made a air down tool. You'll see these videos throughout YouTube. I wanted to do my own. I watched a couple YouTube videos. <clears throat> One of those was from Trail Recon. Um, him and his buddy made a air down device. So watched a couple others, so I kind of took the best of each video and kind of made my own system. They are all basically the same. They all are going to have a hose that connects to each tire. It's going to use those special couplings. I forget the name of it. <clears throat> I'll put it in the description below that have three lockdown points instead of the standard uh, one or two. So it's like the H52 something. It's actually on there. If you can read it, I'll post it below. All everything I have from Amazon. It costs a little over two hundred dollars, <throat> and so I liked this hose because the hose, the two ends of the hose came with the extra reinforcements on it, and I put those at the back because those are where you're going to have the most stress because it'd be furthest away from the air air fill. And you might have the most potential to have uh, pressure on it. Standard three-piece T-barbs. Uh, four of those uh, lock-on valve stems. Comes over here to my manifold. Now, I looked around a lot. I wanted a, a glycerin-filled lead-free gauge. I'll post it on Amazon what I got. I'll post the link below on Amazon. And it's simple. It just comes in to both sides. This had another air chuck right here. And so I took this air chuck off <clears throat> and I took the air fitting that came factory with that as well and put this uh, on off this, uh, this valve, shut off valve on it. And let me tell you, to, to get this wheel, this uh, air chuck off, and this chuck out, I had to put it in vice and lock it down. They were in there. Wow, were they tight. So anyway, as you can see, I've got 31, 30 and a half pounds. It's totally equalized. <clears throat> so to lose my pressure. Got a little bit. Get it to 30. Well, actually, it'll probably go to 29. Okay, so it does have a little, it will go back to normal. So you'll have to let the air out and then shut the valve off, let the valve equalize again. So I'm at 30. Now I'm right at 29. Uh, 29 and a half. There we go, bam, 29 on the dot. See, that took me, I don't know, look at your YouTube video counter. That took probably all about 10 seconds to lower down four tires, a pound and a half. And it doesn't matter if it's a pound and a half or 10 pounds, right? It's going from tire to tire to tire. So all the hype about these four wheel air down tools, absolutely worth it. <clears throat> There's ones out there for $200. There's some out there for 300 and trail recon the this video it's really easy to do yourself this took me about 45 minutes and this has been sitting on here for about an hour i've been doing some other work and posted another video so very well worth it and it's going to make airing up just as easy same process except i will just put my um, air compressor there and open the valve and be done stay tuned I'm, i did the onboard uh arb twin air twin air compressor <clears throat> i'm going to be doing a video on that it's a real cool uh install hey i just wanted to give people an idea i know a lot of you know this but look you see this wear you see how like right here 
is the only spot that's coming in contact with the road. This stuff looks all practically new. These tires, I just got these tires. I'm trying to figure out the best pressure to use. I'm at 29, down from 31 to 29. I'm going to see what that does. But if you put tires on your rig and you see that you're only getting this much wear in the center, they're overinflated. <clears throat> Not the end of the world. But what that's going to cause, it's going to cause some squirrely behavior on the road. Might be even a little bit less fuel efficiency, not as comfortable, not as easy to control. So when you put new tires on, just always take a little extra time to play with it and uh, drop a couple pounds here, a couple pounds there, until you start getting you know, dirt like evenly across all the tread. All right, I'll post the parts down below, and thanks for watching. Hope everyone had a good weekend, but boy, I tell you what, this was a fun little project, and now I'm going to air down in seconds when all my buddies are going tire to tire and i will laugh at them ha 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 all right post your comments below please like and subscribe and remember to ring the bell and i'll keep doing little videos about my opinion about the gladiator and my little projects all right take care happy wheeling